Hi everyone, Grant K here from the Smoke Learning Channel. Recently I received a user request on how to create a cover flow animation in action. Now you'll recognize where it comes from as soon as you see it. I'll be providing the processes and steps on how to create it and I'll also provide the setup files that you can download and try it for yourself. We'll start off in action with a composite that has 150 frame duration. Auto key is off and the viewers are in a dual view split using the Option 2 keyboard shortcut. I have 10 sources loaded in the media list that we could use for our cover images. We'll select the first entry in the media list and double click its thumbnail to add it into the schematic and to the composite. It is advisable at this point to select the schematic view and press the shortcut keys Ctrl Option N to enable the navigation view to quickly move around the schematic. Let's create one image with its reflection. Double click on the axis 1 to bring up its object menu. We'll scale the layer to 50%. To create the reflection, switch back to the media menu and double click on the thumbnail again to add a second version of the first image with its axis. Holding down the Alt keyboard shortcut, you can drag the new axis and image around in the schematic. Connect the first axis to the second axis in the schematic so that all the transformations from the image will be forced onto its reflection. Double click on the second axis to bring up its object menu. Using the Y position slider, we can push the reflection image down to align it with the main image. We need to flip the image to make it fake a reflection. To do this, uncheck the proportional button underneath scaling and set the Y scale to minus 100%. To finish the look off, go to the image menu and set the transparency to 75% and change the surface shine value to 2.0. To see the shining work, we need to add a light into the scene. Switch to the node bin menu and choose the relighting tab. Click and drag the light node directly into the result view and the light will immediately start shading the scene. Switch to the object menu and we can position the light accurately. Set the X position of the light to zero and do the same for the Y position. Lastly, set the Z position of the light to 1600. This will place the light directly behind the camera. A nice touch to the effect will be to decrease the spread to 30% to focus the lighting. So here we have our first cover. The next step will be to place it on a 3D path. To learn the basics of the 3D path tool, Please watch the video on motion animations with 3D paths. Select the action schematic view and with the bottom left pop-up button, change the view from schematic to top view. We will need to use the navigation controls on the right of the interface to zoom out of the top view. Now switch to the node bin menu and choose the objects tab. Here we will find the 3D path node. Double click on the 3D path node to activate this tool. Using the create cursor, click three points in the top view to create a curved line. Now don't close the shape. Just switch to the object menu and under the path tab, click the finish button. Now the three vertices points are random in 3D space, but we would like a bit more accuracy for the animation. So hold down the control keyboard shortcut and drag a box over the middle vertice to select it. Back in the path menu, the vertices coordinates are displayed. Hold down the control keyboard shortcut and click on the X, Y and Z sliders to position this point at absolute zero in 3D space. To position the left vertice, Control and drag a box over the vertice. In the path menu, set the X position to minus 1345 and the Z position 
to minus 600. Now control and drag a box over the right vertice. In the path menu, set the X position to 1345 and the Z position to minus 600. We might need to adjust the tangents, but this is just to smooth out the curve. With the top view still selected, press the Escape keyboard shortcut to bring up the action schematic. Move the axis connected to the path node above the cover and its reflection image. Drag a connection from the 3D path node to the axis of the main image and not the axis of the reflection. The image with its reflection snaps onto the path. Double-clicking the 3D path node, you can now adjust the offset slider to see the image move along the path. Now in a cover flow animation, all objects will be looking towards the center of the screen. To do this, switch to the node bin menu and double-click on the axis node to add a new axis to the scene. We can select the axis node in the schematic and rename it to Look at Me. Switching to the object menu, we'll set the Z position to 100. Let's make the cover image face the new axis. Select the 3D path node in the schematic view. Under the Path tab, change the alignment from Align to Path to Look at. Also change the orientation to point Z axis. In the cursor pop-up menu on the right of the interface, change the mode from Move to Look At. Now drag a connection from the 3D Path node to the Look At Me axis node. So we visually know what objects on the 3D Path are looking at. If you select the 3D Path node and adjust the path offset again, you can see how the cover rotates on the path as it looks at the targeted point. If you want to know any more information about Autodesk Smoke, or you'd like to download the free 30-day trial copy, just go to autodesk.com forward slash smoke for Mac.